With less than a week to go until the Bennelong by-election, the major parties are fighting hard to win the vote of the area's large Asian communities. Liberal candidate John Alexander says voters from the Chinese community respect Malcolm Turnbull's stand on China. But Labor's Christina Keneally says the Prime Minister's comments are being seen as China-phobic. <laughs> It takes a village to stage a rally, and in this urban village, one in five voters comes from an Asian background. In what's going to be a close race, uh, I think the multicultural votes uh, in this community are going to make a real difference. We stand up, and so we say, Ad Alia Runman Zanchi Lai, the Australian people stand up. Yesterday, the Prime Minister used a campaign visit to Benelong to hammer home a message to China asserting Australia's sovereignty. Today, the Liberal candidate said voters respected a strong leader. No, I thought he, he spoke beautifully uh, on the subject. Uh, he has been very, very well received in Eastwood the previous weekend. I think people sort of 10 deep doing selfies with him. Labor's Christina Keneally says the feedback she's getting from voters paints a different picture. I think there's a real, uh, a real frustration and a real concern I'm picking up from the local Chinese community that some of the language that they're hearing uh, from the Prime Minister and this Liberal government sounds China-phobic. I think we need to be careful of this sort of discussion drifting into a, a China panic. Community leader Tony Tang has lived in Australia for 40 years. He doesn't believe voters will be swayed by what's happening on the world stage. What is important here is the local issues, especially uh, the education and the health. On the streets, many voters agreed. Mostly local issues like you know, employment, you know, traffic. Five more days to beat the drum before polling day. Ursula Malone, ABC News, Sydney.